Today is Easter, which also means it marks the end of the Lent season. I just got done with some Easter gigs today, so I'm still in my Easter attire. And I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda uncomfortable, so let me change out of this real quick. Oh, much better. But I wanted to make this video as to why I quit social media in the first place and share my journey about just how amazing these last 56 days have been. So I quit social media about 14 days before Lent, so that was 56 days in total. I will note that I did not quit all forms of social media. I did keep YouTube. I used it for schooling um, as a musician studying music. I did uninstall the YouTube app on my phone and it made me use it a lot less. And then also I did not uninstall Facebook Messenger. The biggest reason was that I knew that I was spending too much time on social media, probably three to four hours a day, and social media was the first thing I saw in the morning. I would go on my phone after my alarm went off on my phone and go straight on Instagram and just scroll Instagram, scroll Facebook, just see what I was missing out, right? And just getting these dopamine hits, dopamine rushes. And the last thing I did before going to bed was look at Instagram, look at Facebook and just scrolled and scrolled. The one thing I did differently that I didn't do in the past with quitting social media, you know, I would quit for a week or so, but then I would always find an excuse to go back to social media. And so what I did differently this time is that I found myself an accountability partner. Um, that so happened to be my brother-in-law and I got a website blocker on my phone, on my computer, on my tablet, all my devices I use and I blocked all social media platforms except of course YouTube and, and that. As I was quitting social media, I read a great book that was recommended to me by the second trumpet player of the Boston Symphony Orchestra, Ben Wright. Uh, the book's name is Atomic Habits. And in that book, one of the things I did with installing this website blocker in the third law of behavior change, that the third law is make it easy. And the inverse of that law is make it difficult. So for me, it was difficult for me to go on social media because I knew that I had to go to the library to go on social media and I never did. I've already made it difficult for me to even get on the website. So installing this website blocker uh, made it so it was so hard for me to even access social media in the first place. This video exists because of the benefits of quitting. First and foremost, I just noticed the amount of free time that was opened up to me. I had all this free time to study. As a musician, not really study, but as a musician, practice. I had a lot of time to practice in the morning, in the afternoon. I had more time allotted for myself to uh, explore this career path of becoming a musician. And so um, I was able to practice a lot more. I just felt like my mind was more clear. During my time of quitting, I journaled a lot and I actually installed this app on my MacBook called Day One. And as of today, I have 185 journal entries and I got this about, late, no, actually I got this a month ago. So today I'm filming on, on April 9th. So on March 9th was day one. And what's really cool about that is going back to Atomic Habits, I made clear of the fourth rule, which is make it satisfying. Uh, and the great thing is I bought this MacBook a month ago. A lot of these things happened a month ago. I bought this MacBook right here, um, really nice. And the keyboard is super nice to touch, to type on. And so I used to do pen on paper on journaling and that was a lot of fun and actually really satisfying. But with a MacBook keyboard, it was so satisfying to type with those keys and the keys was catching up to all these ideas that were going through my mind. That by the time I was done journaling, my mind was empty and I was able to fill up my mind with things I wanted to do, which was really exciting for me. And I've never felt that way before. Another benefit of quitting is the amount of happiness I feel. Like I feel genuinely happy and I feel great to talk like this. I don't drink coffee waking up in the morning without being on my phone, just waking up in the morning and 
taking a shower, something as simple as taking a shower and then brushing my teeth and then heading over to practice my trumpet. All these things with, with very little distraction, adding social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all these, you know, all this craziness. It just, it was too much. And so another benefit is I find myself less anxious. Oftentimes I would go on social media to calm my anxiety, but in turn it actually made me way more anxious. So being off of social media has made me less anxious. I found this benefit of reaching out to other people, which is another benefit. I found myself making real connections with people that I love. And I really mean the word love, you know, close uh, colleagues of mine, close friends, family. Uh, I'm 22 hours away, 20 hours away, let's give or take, depending on traffic. But I'm 20 hours away from my home, which is in Iowa, and I'm in Connecticut right now studying music. And it's been a blast. But I could not tell you how thankful I am that I gave up social media. I've had so much free time open up to call people I never call. Um, I usually never call my dad, ever, but without social media, I found myself wanting to call my dad. I found myself calling my mom a lot. You know, I am a mama's boy. I found myself calling a lot of siblings that I usually don't call. And so all this free time was opened up for me to call people that I love. People that have gotten me to where I am today as well, saying thank you to them, doing things of that sort. There weren't many. The ones that I thought were there ended up not being a big deal. It was that idea that the pros outweigh the cons, that the good outweighs the bad. One of them was I thought I would miss out a lot. And yes, I did miss out on a couple of things. I missed out on deaths of people because social media was my only media platform. I usually don't read the news because the news opens up with good morning or good evening and 90% of it is bad news. So I just don't read the news because it's just too much negativity for me. And for me personally, I think I get enough of the news just from listening to my friends and such. And so I found out from family members and also friends about some really major events that have happened in the past 40 days and, um, and plus. But I wasn't missing out because they were telling me about it. That's what I thought was a drawback but it wasn't that bad. Another drawback was not having connections that I usually do. All right, pause. I was being a nerd when I was recording this, so I got really off topic. When I was off of social media, it was really nice not being on all of these messaging apps. Facebook has a DM feature, Messenger. Instagram has a messaging feature. Snapchat has a messaging feature. WhatsApp has a messaging feature. LinkedIn has a messaging feature. All of these social media apps had their own messaging features and it was great to take a break from all of that. The downside of not having those messaging features is that some people straight up, that's the only way that I had contact with them. A lot of the people that I meet, I get their Instagram, I get their Snapchat, but I don't have their phone number. When it was important for me to message these people, I had no way of messaging them. It has forced me to live in the moment and I talk more about that no, I talked about that earlier. <laughs> that drawback actually created a good idea. Being off of social media has let me journal about a lot of ideas that I have for future projects, future works, compositions. I found myself having these really great shower ideas, but I had time to think on them. I oftentimes act on instinct, like right away, and most of the time when I do that, I regret it because a lot of these ideas takes money. And so I usually like DM them right away and talk about the idea. But being off of social media has forced me to keep these ideas inside of me. to brew in my head. <laughs> kind of like this idea of shooting this YouTube video and telling people what's so great or what's so not great about quitting social media for a given time. But yeah, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.